It's this time of year again. We got turtles out and about. Be careful when you're out on the road. What you think, boy? You're a feisty one, huh? Don't run over them. Screw the thing up. Where are they coming from? Look at this. We got cows loose. Did you guys see this? Only in Hicksville. Whose are they? I don't know. Because we can help her get that one over there to the others. Because there's a big ditch coming up. He's scared. But there's Vernon. They're not Vernon. Stay there. Follow the rest. Go to your others. Where'd they go? There they're going. I'm gonna, I want to do this. Let go. Stop for a minute. Trying to get them over to the others. They're out in the field. I don't know where they came from. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. I'm already feeling pretty lucky. All right, so we're getting ready for church, and uh, we're not going to miss it this week. We know British Bake Off. We know the time has changed, so we got to work on. This is supposed to come in tomorrow. Got a new uh, clutch plate and sprocket for my chainsaw. You can see the drive is completely screwed up. That's supposed to be squared off, you know, straight across. And uh, that's just not going to work. Chainsaw stopped working. I still got some work cutting to do over at Mom's and some other places, so I needed to get this fixed. Now, one thing I did go to last year was this L72 teeth. The chainsaw that I have calls for a 72 drive chain, 70 teeth. But it, at TSC, they say either one of these will fit on mine. So I bought a new bar and put a 72 teeth on. I don't know if that's what screwed this up. Even though they say it can be done. But... It's only two years old, the chainsaw. Now, I do work it pretty hard, so... But... I don't think it should have broke already, so I don't know if I'm going to go back to a 70 tooth. But, and go back to my original bar, or buy a new bar, and go to a 70 tooth. They do have a 20 inch 70 tooth. So... I haven't decided that yet. I do like the 72 teeth better. But. Now this part is made by Craftsman for the Poulon chainsaw. But it's also the same one they use in the Husqvarna. Same part number and everything. Uh, there's some needle bearings in there. And you got the whole 
engine spins when you try to take this off, the clutch, which sits in here. And instead of getting a piston stop and the special tool, I just used some needle nose vice grips in here and a screwdriver on the plate and I shoved string. I took the spark plug out, shoved string down in there so the piston couldn't move up and down and then I was able to get this loose. And that's how we're gonna put it back together too. So hopefully that comes in tomorrow. St. St. Patty's Day, so we had to make sure we had green on. This counts as green, right? So my nephew's going into the military. He wants this tattoo. He just turned 18. He wants this tattoo. Uh, some of the people in the family are getting it f in remembrance of Grandpa. Because he loved fishing. He got the pole there. He liked hunting. And the string kind of goes through his mouth and it's got the hook down here. It's got the deer antler. And then there's an arrow. So I should be doing that pretty soon. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button for this video. And keep finding the art and everything, guys. See y'all later. Just set on the wrong side of firm. But it looks incredible. Thank you. Snowed a little bit today coming down pretty good there for a little bit stopped already blue skies that way and that's the storm that just went by spitting snow it's not too bad out though it's a little cold happy st. Patty's Day It's beginning to look a lot like Easter. Ooh, cold on your skin. Huh. Yeah. The fun doesn't have to stop here. We have many more videos, just like this one, you might also enjoy. Here are some great options to check out first, and enjoy.